Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm here today to do a reading for you. This is going to be a general timeless reading for the sign of Pisces. Happy beginning of Pisces season. I'm very thrilled. You guys know that I love this time of the year um, as a very proud Pisces. <laughs> I really, really enjoy this time. I'm going to be sharing uh, in the community section of the channel a lot of really cool things during Pisces season including one sung a day and a little post on who was born, you know, on each day of Pisces season as far as like historical figures or celebrities or, you know, creatives and people like that. So I'm gonna add that on the daily. There is a playlist for Pisces season with all of my kind of like very meaningful songs that I really like that I've gathered like throughout my life. Um, you can tell a lot about it, who, like, you can tell a lot of what the person a person is or how they are based on their musical taste, <laughs> I think. It's kind of important somehow. Um, so you can check it out and see, you know, if we're on the same page over there as well. You may uh, discover some new, new bands, new music that you really like and that may be very positive for you. So check it out. And also um, know that... What else? What else? Yeah, I think that's it. So this is a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, Pisces. And yeah, I think we need to, yes, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. We need to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, so there's been a lot of... You know, a lot of comments on the previous post in which I mentioned, like, I might be giving up on YouTube and all of that. And I want you guys to know how much I love you. And I want you guys to know that I do this with all my heart. It is my job, right? So there is this thin line in which I have to, like, make it sort of like a return on investment, right? Enough of my energy and time to, you know achieve the goals that I personally want to achieve. However, uh, I don't think I'm going to give it up anytime soon. I might post a little bit less, depending on what I have going on on other areas. And I think that's, you know, understandable. I think you guys could, you know, um, could see why. <laughs> you know, this takes a lot of energy. Not necessarily a lot of time, right? but a lot of energy and you know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I am, don't worry, don't freak out. I am not in any way giving up on YouTube right now. Um, this year I am finishing my PhD on metaphysical sciences and I will be working on YouTube the rest of the year for sure. Um, next year though, I don't know what's, you know, how things are gonna be looking, but for now, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. The readings are going to be here. Everything is going to be fine, Pisces. Um, and I want to extend my gratitude to those of you who, you know, took the time to message me and, and tell me that these readings actually make a really positive influence and difference in your life. I guess I needed to hear that. You know, sometimes we feel a little bit disconnected. I didn't really know if these were being helpful anymore, you know, to you guys. And I don't know, I just, I don't know, I was just thinking about everything. For now, I'm staying. I might post a little bit less, hopefully not. You know, if I have the time and energy to continue to post at this rhythm, I will. Um, and I will continue to promote the products and I'll continue to do what I'm doing. And then next year, we'll see how that goes. All right, Pisces, so thank you so much for your love and your appreciation. I think I needed that, <laughs> to be honest. I think I needed to hear it for some reason. Anyway, back to the reading. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? How can Pisces best navigate their life moving forward? Thanks. 
All right, so first card that we got here is the Queen of Wands. Pisces, it seems some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could be really making your desires, your quirks, your preferences very known at this time. The black cat is supposedly bad luck, right? Superstition says that it's bad luck. But the queen of wands, she likes black cats. And she's like, I don't care. I'm above that. Like, if I want a black cat, I'm going to get my black cat. I'm going to be happy with my black cat, <laughs> you know? So it does represent to a certain extent, like not giving a shit about what others think of you, right? Or not letting certain belief systems that you don't necessarily agree with um, sort of like encapsulate you into a specific behavior, decision. So I love that for you, Pisces. I feel like you're going to be more and more comfortable with... I don't even say... I wouldn't even say being misunderstood, but like you're not going to even stop to wonder if you're being understood or not, perceived properly or not. It's like you're just going to do your thing. So this little cat is drawing all of these sunflowers. So there could be a lot of creativity and art that is catching your attention somehow. It seems here, Pisces, like you're comfortable, like you have everything you need, but you may not be in a space in which you can give yourself all the luxuries you want, but you have enough. You know, it seems like she has her little shoes on. <laughs> Right, so her feet are protected. She has the little uh, couch thingy she's sitting on and the sunflower. It's like she has everything she needs, but she's not overflowing, right? As some illustrations of the Queen of Wands do with like jewelry and robes and things. So it's like, I think Pisces, you have the necessary. You have um, everything you need to be comfortable and happy. You may want more. And that's perfectly fine. But I think that you're really making do with what you have. Some of you are taking a lot of different actions. Juggling a lot of different things. Some of you are getting passionate about this thing. And you want to learn that other thing. And you may be wanting to take this course. And then go to that like sound healing or like meditation. And you know, some of you may want to sort of juggle a lot of things that make you feel very passionate, curious, interested. And that is only going to bring joy into your life, Pisces. I see that you are in a moment in which you can really um, take uh, kind of like... It's like you are... What I feel is some of you are kind of in the present moment when you're juggling the different things you're doing. You can be more present with each thing and somehow you can really pay a lot of very focused attention and energy to a lot of different things without getting overwhelmed, without getting deluded. In the previous months of this, you know, these readings, we've seen the opposite. You know, we've seen how uh, for a lot of you, it's just easier to focus on one thing, two, two, three things at most. But I feel like something is changing up there. You know, something is changing energetically, astrologically, in which... Now you're going to be able to fully be present in a lot of different spaces simultaneously and have it be pleasant and enjoyable and positive for you. That's a lot of information for one, one card. <laughs> So we got here the Three of Pentacles showing up as the, the challenge position. So some of you could be having um, an understanding that maybe working with someone, working alongside someone, collaborating with someone could be beneficial for you. But some of you may not know how to go about it. I feel like many of you are really like fast paced in your thinking. It's like you want to do this and that and this and that and like you get into action. Uh, before even having the chance to like get someone to to understand what you're doing, some of you it's like oh I'd rather do it alone because otherwise I'm gonna have to like explain everything and that's gonna take me like double the time, you know like, and you end up kind of working on your own. 
because maybe you trust or prefer your rhythm as opposed to maybe a slower rhythm that involves more people. Even if it's easier for you, it seems like it's more comfortable for you to just do it yourself. You may be having a little bit of a hard time um, seeing the vision that you have in your mind truly translate into the physical, artistically, creatively. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. So let's say that you're doing some kind of artwork or some kind of construction or design or whatever, photo shoot, I don't know. There could be an ideal that you have in your mind that is not really translating to the final product. Keep going, Pisces. It will eventually. You may need to learn a little bit more. You may need to sit on it a little. You may need to, um, you know, tweak certain things. But there is no reason why the vision that you have in your mind cannot translate properly into the physical. There is no reason for that. So just take your time with it and don't give up on it, Pisces. We have the Strength card showing up in the recent past. Some of you have had your fair share of drama with Leos. <laughs> and that I'm not saying because I'm getting it intuitively. That I'm saying because I've seen the comments <laughs> in previous readings. And, you know, this gives me a little bit of that, not gonna lie. I see here that you have overcome a lot, Pisces. You know you have the strength. You know that you can count on spirit, that spirit has your back. You know that you can tame internal beasts in the form of like addictions and bad habits. You know this. Sometimes that's not that easy, of course. But I get a sense that that strength that you have, it's making you be comfortable where you're at right now. Like, if you didn't have that strength that has built up within you, maybe you wouldn't be happy right now, or maybe you would be freaking out right now, or maybe you'd be stressed. And I feel like because you have grown so strong, you're good where you're at. So some of you may be in a, in a position, maybe financially, maybe health-wise, in which... You may have dealt with it differently in the past, negatively, and now because of your strength, you're good. You're dealing with, with it in a very like grounded way. So you have the Ace of Pentacles showing up here in the mind space. Many of you are thinking about new, new beginnings, new journeys, new disciplines, new paths that yes, can be monetizable, that can bring you financial success, um, career success, health success, your physical body. I see that someone here is like thinking about like making money or like printing money or something like that. So that, I don't know, that take care of it resonates. I bet it's not going to resonate with almost no one. But this could be like printing vouchers or coupon codes or um, kind of like creating a currency somehow. I see here as well that many of you are going to start saving money for travel. You're going to like actively save money for travel. You're going to be like, okay, I want to go to this place and I want to go and see these uh, touristic attractions, whatever, and I want to go for this long, and I want to do this, that, the other, and you're going to set a, a, an amount, and you're going to go for it, Pisces, and I'm hearing that once you know the number you need to go for, it's like everything else is going to like fall into place to make that happen. And yeah, it's like, well, some of you seem to be going to Italy, uh, Europe, because we see the little gondola here, and some of you may be going to, I heard Aspen, others of you are going somewhere in which there's like very nice weather, like not cold cold, but like really like fresh and nice. I'm here in Europe a lot, like that's what I'm getting here, especially of course we know with this illustration of Italy. Um, and the gondola there 
Some of you may be moving to Europe. Some of you may be moving to Italy. Every time I use this deck, I think of Scandinavia. <laughs> and I also see the presence of a lot of like gardens and nature. Some of you are really going to be moving into new spaces, exciting spaces. And it's like you're leaving drama behind, but you're also kind of like embracing drama in a way. It's like, yeah, like let's go for the adventure. Like let's see what can go right and what can go wrong and let's just have fun with it, you know? I see that some of you are going to be more and more open to risk taking in the near future. And I feel like it's going to go very well for you, Pisces. Five of Cups. But the universe wants you to know. There is a beautiful world out there, Pisces. Look at this window. In the window, we see all of this like... It's interesting. I see it as a window. And I see that some of you see it as a painting. So there's this beautiful world in the background here. Some of you believe it to be unattainable. Some of you believe like, oh, you know, that's pretty, but I can't really go into the painting. Like, that's just a painting. Others here are like, no, that's not a painting, meaning that is a window, meaning that is a possibility that that world actually exists out there. So what I'm getting here from this card, hear me out, is depending on your perspective and how stuck you are crying over spilled milk, that's to the extent in which you're going to be able to see the potential of the world around you. It's like you can be anything, Pisces. But not all of you agree. Some of you feel like it's like, yeah, you could be anything that's cute, but not really. And there's others of you that are like, no, you can actually be anything you want. So evaluate where you're standing in that sense. It's time to move past the things that have gone wrong, Pisces. There is no need to, you know, continue to go over them again and again. There is so much beauty waiting for you. For some of you, it may be difficult to get out of a feeling of being safe, you know. Because, of course, risk-taking, it can go right, it can go wrong, you know. But some of you are in the mindset that's like, well, if it goes right or wrong, like, let's just make the most out of it. Let's just live, right? Some of you are like, let's just live. Others of you are like, I don't know if I'm ready to live in that way. You know, I don't know if I'm ready to move past certain experiences. Some of you need a little bit more time to grieve. Some of you are dealing with anxiety. Some of you are not sleeping that well. Some of you, if you're having nightmares and feeling kind of icky at night, if you feel uncomfortable as you go to bed, maybe some of you feel like someone's watching you. Others may feel like there's just like some ickiness somewhere. Um, some of you could need to cleanse your space, your home space, your bedroom, your bed, mattress, whatever's under your mattress. Um, because, yeah, there could be some energies that need some cleansing. They may be affecting how you are resting, the quality of your sleep and your rest. And that could actually be costing you a lot, more than you realize. It's preventing you from being in this positive energy of jumping into new possibilities. I have a course on my website, Energy Protection 101. It's very good. Like, I'm really proud of it. <laughs> and it has a lot of techniques for both beginners and really advanced practitioners. So I hope that, you know... If you feel like you need to cleanse your home, if you need to sort of get that under control, that's what I can offer you. That's the best, you know, thing that I can offer you. Um, because for some of you, it is affecting you more than you realize. In your environment, you got here the Ace of Swords. What I heard was the universe is willing to give you answers at this time, so ask the right questions. The answers are going to be coming to you through other people, through messages, through readings, through books, through songs. Ask the right questions, Pisces, because the universe is currently, like, available <laughs> to answer in very, very clear ways. There's, like, a reference to, like, Greece here as well. Some of you may be thinking about moving to Greece. Mykonos, 
possibly. We got the Page of Swords here. So hopes and fears being the Page of Swords. Some of you are falling into a little bit of comparison being the Thief of Joy vibe. <laughs> Some of you may be comparing your path to others and it may be making you feel a little off. Some of you could be having a lot of hopes that have to do with an air sign, Aries, I didn't, I didn't mean to say Aries, but that's what came out, so it could be Aries. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You may have simultaneous fears and hopes regarding an air sign or regarding an idea or research. Yeah, I see you very happily juggling a lot of things, Pisces. I don't know, I feel like something shifted. I feel like for the last bit of time, Pisces was really advised to sort of narrow it down. But I feel like maybe you have narrowed it down and chosen the right things, like the right things to focus on how revealed themselves. And now it's like, okay, cool, like now have fun with it you know, invest your energy into those things. Really go for it and have some fun. Now that you know clearly where you want to put your energy, spirit is like, well, do it, you know, enjoy it, have fun, do your thing. Some of you are going to be a lot, like spending a lot of time around water, warm water, and others of you are going to be spending a lot of time around snowy peaks. That came through a different reading. I think I was using the same deck. So yes, Pisces. I think this is it for now. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, if there's any little detail that was like a confirmation for you or that really was specific to your journey, please comment below. I love to hear like, you know, these references to like Greece or Venice, like it's for me it's like i just let the ch the messages flow right but i always love to hear from you like yeah i'm actually the one that is resonating with that part and it's really cool we get to connect and you know share in the comment section so if you feel drawn to that i would love to read your messages i'm sending all my love pisces i hope you're doing good it seems like you're going to continue to do good better and better so yeah, conclusion, I'm not leaving YouTube this year. <laughs> so thank you so much for you know expressing your appreciation for the readings. It means a lot to me. I put a lot of time and energy into these. I would do them even if it wasn't like an income stream for me, honestly, because I love it so much. And I love you guys so much. And I love um, sort of being that voice, I guess, to the messages that want to come for the collective. But yeah, of course, any consideration that I have about YouTube is, you know, because of my energy and time and I have to make a living and all the things. So yeah. All right, Pisces. So this is what I got for you. I love you and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Happy Pisces season.